Candy. I'm Courtney Joden. I'm Chelsea Vihanna. And I'm Lauren Emanuel. And we're going to talk about the Blink-182 concert that was Thursday, was it? Last Thursday? September 15th. September 15th, yeah. And we're just going to talk about and give you like, the details, what we we all went to the concert and it was awesome. So, it was really yeah. good. <laughs> Amazing. Really good. It was at First Niagara Pavilion, mm -hmm. which is a really nice venue for concerts. Yeah. I haven't been there since Britney Spears. Oh my gosh, really? When yeah. I was six, six back years in the old, day. Way oh. back in the day. <laughs> so I, I mean, back then it was Star, Star Lake, was it called? Yeah. Yeah. Star yeah. Lake. Yeah. Star yeah. Star Lake. What I, yeah. yeah. So it it's been a, it's been a few years. So I was really excited to see how everything like what was different, and mm -hmm. um, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, back to the Blink One Eight Two concert. <laughs> So it was like Matt and Kim were the first to perform. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of them? I have to say I came right when My Chemical Romance started. So, but I hear Matt and Kim are really good. Yeah. They're, aren't they? They're like are they indie? Like an indie group? Yeah. They, yeah Kinda, I guess you I could. Say. They're like kind of mainstream right now because yeah. their Daylight song is like on the radio and stuff. Oh. So, oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, um, but I hear they're really good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, really, I was kind of bummed I missed out, but um, I really enjoyed them. But they were good. I wasn't a fan of Kim's uh, language. Yeah, she did have sailor mouth. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I mean, like I would look on the internet and stuff because I I found out last minute that this Matt and Kim were perf they were opening up. They were the first band to open up. So and I had really had no idea who they were. So I kind of did a little bit of research on them. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I said, I heard they were really good. But yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I like overall, I like heard good. of them before, but I just I knew their one song, but I just couldn't think of it. And then whenever I went to the concert, I was like, oh yeah, that's them. So, yeah. but yeah. But about Matt and Kim, yeah, that was pretty much overall, it. Overall, good performance. Yeah, yeah, I really. And the the guy singer, do you guys know? It's I can't remember what his name is. I can't the remember his name. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I think he I think he's cute actually. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a little. He's like precious. I don't know. But, yeah. And then shortly after, My Chemical Romance was perform performed, mm -hmm. before Blink-182. Mm -hmm. um, I got there right when they started. So I got to see pretty much from beginning to end. They were really good. Yeah, I did enjoy them, too. I, I, I haven't listened to them. I used to, I used to listen to them constantly, probably four or five years ago. And mm -hmm. then I kind of, you know, stopped for a little bit. That's yeah. me. It was like back to junior high. Yeah. yeah I was right. like, I was, was like so, so yeah. into My Chemical Romance and like Good Charlotte and all those so, me too. bands. Me too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but they were really good. It was good. I, like some songs I, I, I never heard before. Yeah. And that's probably it's because from I their haven't listened. Yeah. yeah. But um, it was, it's always good to hear a band and listen to songs that you recognize. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. It was they they were really really good. So, yeah, I thought so too. whenever they played I'm not okay, I was like, "Oh my gosh." Like it reminded yeah. me of yeah. like when I went to go see them in concert like with Green Day. It was like 8th grade or something, but it was oh, it was so fun. And it just reminded me of that concert. Yeah. I um we came right I was I'm not okay in the begin right in the, be yeah, the beginning. Yeah, beginning the beginning. It was like the second song Okay, cuz yeah. that's we walked in right as um I they started playing I'm not okay and I was like Middle school. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely like flashback to middle school. Yeah, yeah. I love that song. it's it's such a good song. Mm -hmm. It was such a yeah. Never will get old. <laughs> no, absolutely not. But they did really good. I though was really surprised. I mean, I've never seen them live before, so I don't know if this is just their way of doing things. I kept getting really confused. I would think like they would be done, and then he, they would come back yeah. and sing. And then yeah. he just finished, and I was like, Yeah, is, is there going to be an encore? Is mm -hmm. he just he just finished? And I was really. And then the lights came on, and yeah. then everyone's. The, and I was like, I yeah, guess that's I was. It. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed that they didn't even like thank us for coming out. Right? Like, yeah. I was yeah. Like, I, I, thought, I thought it was kind of rude. I didn't realize that until you just like pointed it out. But I mean, yeah. I'm not complaining. But I was mm -hmm. just like at the. We were standing up, and I was like, okay, maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be yeah. it. Yeah. And then it just, it was just over. It just stopped. Just, and the lights came on. They just performed, and it wasn't yeah. like personal with the crowd. It was just like yeah, perform. That is true. See you later. Yeah. Like, so, but then, Blink oh, 182. Blink <laughs> I was so excited. Seriously, the lights came on after My Chemical Romance, and it lasted about, I would say, 10, 10, 
to th like 10, 13, yeah. 10 or 13 yeah. minutes. And they, what I loved about the concert is they were right on time. Yeah. There were really no, we weren't sitting for 40 minutes waiting for Blink to mm -hmm. come on. So that was, that was really great. Yeah. It felt like 40 minutes though. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It felt like 40 minutes, but it really wasn't 40 minutes. Yeah. So, um, but when so I was sitting down and the lights just turned off, it took me like not even a second. I like jumped off my chair and I just started oh, yeah. going ballistic. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just like. Like, as soon as those lights went up, I was like, oh, like, I know. oh my god. It was I so was so excited, because I've yeah. never seen them live. So I, and I've been a Blink-182 fan for a very long yeah, time, so I was so time. excited. Because they, the, they came to the city a couple years ago, yeah. mm -hmm. and I was so bummed. I didn't get to go. I had other, like, plans, and I just, it didn't work out. So yeah. um, I remember, like, my friend and I were talking, the friend I went with, if this was, like, last October, and she was like, do you think Blink-182 will ever come to Pittsburgh again? I was like, oh, Alyssa, I hope so. It's like really <laughs> dramatic. And not even a year later, we already we saw them live. Uh -huh. So it was really awesome for them to be on the Honda yeah. Civic Tour. Yeah. So they just, they're, they sounded great. Oh, yeah. They just sounded like mm -hmm. how they were on the CD. Like, it was just... It was amazing. It was a really good concert. They're just one of those bands, I mean, in my opinion, they just have such good chemistry on stage. But when you're together for 20 years, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm you have to, to be. It. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. They were just so good. Their chemistry, you know, Tom and Mark, when they were just like talking back and forth. Uh -huh. My favorite thing, and I just, <laughs> I, know, I, I love this. Travis Barker, he, he just chills behind the drum set and it, when they like, you know, finish a song and then they'll have like a little conversation and they'll say something to Travis. Travis just, you know, does he, he responds thing. in drum. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even talk, and it's so <laughs> funny. But he s plays drums more than he mm -hmm. speaks. But he's so talented. So. Oh my gosh, is he talented? But they were so good, and I loved. You know, they were playing some, um, like some songs from their new album and right. stuff like that. So that was really good. Well, I would, I would have to say personally. Like, up All Night's probably the most popular right oh, now. It is so good. Such a good song. <laughs> but song. my personal fave is What's My Age Again, mm -hmm. and. My, my, I did not <laughs> shut up. Yeah, <laughs> when it, they were singing it, I was. I, I should have been on stage. I should have been. I should have been the fourth member of Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, but every their set list was amazing. But that encore, Travis Barker. Oh my gosh! I, oh uh, my that was the best part of the gosh! Night. I had no idea. Okay, like let's that. just explain what happened. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the show ends. They're like, what did they say? They were like. Um, See ya. We're gonna we're pretend, gonna pretend like, like, like that was it, and we'll be back with our encore. Bye. Yeah. And like the they walk came off up. the stage, and then this black curtain comes up, and then we're all sitting there. We're like, blink, come on, let's play again, or like play again, blink. So we wait for like like five minutes or so. Oh yeah. And here and comes then, Travis Barker on this crane. Oh my gosh! I knew he did drum. I, I knew he did a drum solo. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to be this extreme. Mm -hmm. I was seriously in awe the whole time. The whole, I was just looking up. My mouth was to the floor. I'm taking all of these pictures. It is. Ser it was the most incredible thing I've ever uh -huh. produced. And mm -hmm. it would have been really awesome to be in the pit because you'd probably oh, gone like oh, right above. Like imagine him. if you were right, like ab literally like, right above that. Let's explain like what the crane like actually looked like. So like he was on the stage and then like this drum set on a crane like goes up like this and like goes around the whole crowd and then it like tilts down like to the pit and like he's just like playing like it was towards it was down like a 90 crazy. degree angle almost yeah. oh. it was just really really insane but it was really good i that concert probably it was top three phenomenal. top yeah, three. i would agree i loved it. every minute of it little chilly little oh. cold Yes. It got down to like 40s that night. It's what, yeah. September and it's yeah. mm -hmm. freezing, especially cold. And that week weather. was so nice. And then it, on Thursday, like the it was one day that chilling. It mm -hmm. But there were so many people there and it was just insane. Yeah. And just people yeah. everywhere. So it turned out to be a super, super good night. And um, it was worth it. I would definitely. I, I, For sure. I wish I could relive September I know. 15. <laughs> it was <laughs> really good. That's what I was yeah. saying. Like, ugh. I just wish I could go back to that concert again just because it was really awesome. Yeah, yeah. it was so awesome. good. Worth every penny. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, but so if you haven't yeah. seen them, go see them before yeah. you can't anymore. So for all you guys who don't know, their new album's coming up, coming out, Neighborhoods, Blink-182. It comes out September 27th, mm -hmm. That's um, Tuesday, September 27th. So make sure you go get a copy. We heard a couple of the new songs. They are awesome. They're great. You're going to mm -hmm. love it. You're absolutely going to love it. Um, so go out and get a copy because you won't regret it. <laughs> I've already read reviews, five out of five stars. Absolutely so, amazing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It. Go get a copy. <laughs>
See ya!